Okay, the next discussion will be on file encryption. So I'm going to click the second option on this left navigation panel. And uh, Speech2Text Pro gives you the power to encrypt your files and make them inaccessible to others, okay? So um, the first step is to click Select and uh, select the work folder, which in most cases would be Documents. And uh, once you do this, then Speech2Text Pro will present whichever files it finds and recognizes under the selected folder, present them as boxes the way you see it right here, okay? So these are files of um, uh, th three different types of um, uh, ex having extension TXT because those are the types of files produced in um, node mode. Also files of type uh, doc docx because these are the file types produced in document mode and uh, there's also a third type of file i don't know if there's any examples here but those would be the dot dat files which are the intermediate or uh, temporary files produced in um, document mode so if you are working on a project and uh, you haven't finished it during your first session which would be expected because you know you are supposed to create long documents in this screen here. You can choose to save that file and uh, once you do it will save as a .dat file. Okay, this is a file format only recognized by speech to text Pro. And um, these .dat files will appear along with the rest of the files recognized by speech text pro so there will be three different file types in total okay so um, let's see how to encrypt a file from this uh, grid here okay so if you want to encrypt this file for example you would right click on it and if you are in the touch screen you simply um, place your finger or pointing device for about a second for this to pop out and uh, next you check or you Place a check mark in this box, and this will automatically generate a 16-character uh, password. And uh, in addition to the password appearing in this text box, it also gets copied to the clipboard. And let me prove this. Okay. However, now that I lost this flyout, the keyword as well, it got lost as well. So um, I should create a new one, okay? So once again, it's been copied to the clipboard, and at this point, I can click Encrypt, and the file has now become encrypted, and uh, it's unreadable by uh, anybody, except you, you know, who, except whoever encrypted it, as long as they have the password. So um, I would recommend always emailing the password to self. Okay, so. This is what this is for. And um, so in this box here, just type your email address. I'm going to type my own email address. And click send. And once again, this is going to launch the Microsoft email app and uh, create a file, uh, create automatically generate content some uh, boilerplate uh, text, okay? <laughs> and uh, include the uh, the password right here, okay? So don't lose this password, okay? So uh, let's, let me go now, let me now go to the folder and uh, prove to you that the file is not um, for reading, okay? Okay? And uh, let's see now, I don't know if I have the password, so I don't know if I can recover this. I don't know if it's still on the clipboard. Okay, great. So this is the way to recover. That's how easy it is to recover a text once you have the password. You simply paste the password into this box, which is now disabled because this does not have to be decrypted, okay? And uh, click click decrypt and it reverses the encryption and renders the file readable once again. 
Okay, and that that applies for whether it's a txt file, a docx file, or a dat file. Okay. Okay. So that's all I got. Thank you for watching the tutorials, and I hope you enjoyed them. And uh, bye for now.